All right, friends, it is summertime, and as you can see, we have some uh, good bearding going on. A lot of the bees will come out onto the, the porch, if you will, to help cool off the hive, flap their wings. They want to make sure that the brood nest does not get too hot and kill the babies that they're raising inside. So when it gets crowded, and today is mid-July, it's very hot and humid in the 90s. So they are coming outside to cool off a bit, as you can see, and that's called bearding. And we are going to go ahead and do an inspection of the hive, see how they're doing on that first honey super. See how much it's getting filled out and see if it's ready to add another honey soup. All right, got my smoker all ready and my half tool. Pop the smoke up front. Wait a second. Bunch of bees out there on the top board. Smoke. They have uh, glued this shut very well with propolis. Smoke under here. Top cover off. A lot of bees on there too. It's been a couple weeks since I put on this honey super. End soup, the end frame there is covered with bees, you can see they're starting to dry out mm -hmm. some of the wax. They're on the plastic comb, as well as on this side, but very covered. We're going to use the end here of our hive stand to let that sit so we can have some more room to work in here. See the wax is just starting to be drawn on these end frames. Quite a bit more wax and there's also some nectar in there that they're filling up. This is the third frame in. This one has a little bit more weight to it. You can probably see from there that there's a lot more that's drawn with the wax and those are all filled with nectar. There's about three on there that are actually capped which means they're it's already honey. Even heavier. A lot of it's drawn out. A lot of nectar on there. It's been a lot really, really rainy. So there haven't been a lot of days when the bees can go work and gather nectar. So I was hoping they would have a lot of it more drawn out by now. The rain has really slowed down their progress, but it's got some weight to it filled with quite a bit. Eventually we'll be capped over and turned into honey. Probably another week or two before they get this fully drawn and start really capping all of those cells so that we the honey is ready to harvest. Once this is drawn out about 70% of the way we'll put our last super on top. We go ahead and take off this honey super. It's been a while since I've looked down in the brood frame, the brood boxes. Large stand really comes in handy to put the boxes when you're working. You can uh, smoke these one, these girls. This is the queen excluder that I'm taking off here. She's too big to fit through this grate. Only the worker bees can come through. So be careful, make sure she's not clinging on here. And there are a ton of bees in here. I can already see. I'm not going to dig too much into here. Really, I just want to see that she is laying. Last frame, and it is, looks like it's about fully fully drawn out, it is. See that rainbow pattern, you've got honey around the outside. Um, a lot of nectar as well that hasn't been capped. And if you can see these yellow squares, there's pollen that they've put in there. That is a lot of brood that's covered. Again, that rainbow pattern, it's got the honey. And you've got all this brood. These bigger ones are the, the males or the drones that'll come out of these. Look at another frame here.
And again, just a ton of brood in here. A lot of honey around the outside. I'm probably going to look at this one and then I'll call it a day. And it's just full of brood. It's just nonsense. She's, this queen is doing a great job. So I'm going to leave them alone. They want to go to work. They don't want me bugging them. Queen excluder back on. And then that honey super back on top. Board back on. And that's it. Bees can go about their day and continue to work. Thanks for watching.